Hey, welcome to Our American Travel. I'm Al. This is Melanie over there behind the camera. Hello. You can't really see her, but you might be able to hear her. Hey, we're going to do um, a new thing this year on our planning our trip for this summer. We're going to use a new thing. It was kind of a, a we I paid for a subscription of this, like $40 something dollars. Uh, it's called RV Trip Wizard. There's a lot of people out there who use it. It's a really cool thing. I'll show you some pictures up here and some links and so forth, uh, or in the in the notes, uh, you'll you'll have that. Um, it says uh, the best RV trip planner. And so when you go to the planner, um, it uh, it gives you kind of a cool screen. And uh, basically, it just lets you. I've got a couple trips saved in here. I'm not going to show you those. I'm just going to create a trip. And we're just going to say we're going to leave today. You know, it, it doesn't really matter when we leave. And we're going to call this a test trip. And that test trip, um, where do you want to go, babe? Tell me where you want to go. Just pick a place, hmm, any I place. I want to go places we haven't been yet. So let's go down to Mississippi. Because oh, if you can see our map right. back there, we have not spent the night in Mississippi or Louisiana. So let's go to Natchez first. Natchez, okay. Mississippi. Okay. What do you think about that? That sounds perfect. Well, that's South Mississippi. Well, Can we stop somewhere? Well, let's go there and then we'll come back and figure out how to put something in the middle there. Okay. So, so Natchez, Mississippi. So, uh, oh, I'm going to use use my location to start uh, by clicking on use my location. We need to get Mississippi, Louisiana, and Florida. Oh, so we're trying to get all those in at once. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so uh, here's the trip name called Test, and so uh, we're just gonna kind of. There's all kinds of things it can do. You can put your RV info in here, like ours is 11 foot tall, 29 foot nine inches. Uh, the total weight, totally loaded. It can only be 7,500 pounds. Why? Are we carrying Why? propane? What? Why do you put that in there? Well, well it's just you can put uh, information like you want the height because you you actually can um, use this as your route planner. And so oh. it'll it'll uh, make sure you don't go under any bridges that are Ooh, less than 11 awesome. feet. that's awesome. So it does that for you uh, yeah, already. Yeah, it'll do that for you. And you, you can download this to your phone. Okay. Uh, first of all, you got an app on your phone, but you can download the trip to your phone. You, you can get have the map all the way to your phone. It tells you where you know awesome. where not to go. So, that's pretty cool. Because, so yeah, there were times cool. we have needed that before. And then you can also actually put, you know, what kind of get, uh, fuel you're using, what your fuel capacity is, uh, how much you'd like to keep in reserve to make sure you don't run out. Yeah. And you can put what your fuel economy is. And so then it's going to tell uh, us where to stop for gas? Well, it'll tell you, uh, and then you put pricing in there, and then you can kind of, uh, it'll kind of tell you where you need to stop. You need to stop by this point. Oh, uh, cool. And so it helps with some um, That's stuff. That's awesome. And then you can put all kinds of routing information there, like I want to avoid tolls, I want to avoid highways. Kind of, I, don't know, I don't understand the whole avoid highways, but somebody can explain it to you. Avoid ferries, avoid tunnels. Okay. You know, if you want to do all that, you, you can tell it that. And then over on the expenses, you can also put in there how much an average camping night is for you to stay, okay. uh, what meals are. And then you can go back later and actually put the actuals in. Okay. And so it'll give you a, a real good, um, you know, kind of estimate on your on your trip. And so here we are. Well, it kind of gives you an address close to where we live. So I probably shouldn't have that. I might blank that out. Okay. Um, but anyway, uh, we're going to start out by going um, to... Um, Somewhere down in, in Mississippi, uh, we, we're going to search for something near Natchez, Mississippi. Okay, sounds N -A -T -C -H -E -Z, good. N-A-T-C-H-E-Z, I think. Yep, because I want to go see all of the Mississippi. Um, There's lots of things in Natchez. Yeah. Uh, lots of um, antebellum homes and so so forth there. So we're just going to pick this place, this campground here. Ironically, I have been there before, but I've seen nothing historical about the town. And then when you. Um, I just picked this campground. Now, we, we may not stay at this campground if we go here. We, we may find another one. Um, in fact, there's one over in Louisiana that we, we probably will stay well, let's at. do that one next. Um, let's do, which so, one have you picked? Well, I picked one here in um, um, Natchez Trace Parkway, Meriwether Lewis Campground. Okay. But I won't add that to the trip. I'll just go and look over in um, um, nearby. So let's let's look for campgrounds nearby. So when you put Natchez, Mississippi in here, it gets you down in the general area and it kind of tries to select the best campground for you. Um, you know, if you don't want the specific of that campground, you can go looking around. Uh, we we uh, had kind of a group we're associated with a camp at this campground here just across the, the river in Natchez. Uh, and so one of the things we're just going to click on that, it's called Riverview RV Park and Resort in Vidalia, Louisiana. 
And if, if we click on, um, this group stayed there last year, so it was good. It's got a 9.1 out of 10 rating on uh, RV Trip Wizard. And we can just click Add to Trip. And we click the Add to Trip, you can put After the Last Stop, or you can put it in, you know, if you've got 20 stops in here, you can actually go, you know, stick it in between any stop. And then you can also, like, put in number of nights up here. Oh, so cool. let's just say we're going to say three nights there. Okay. And we will put it after last up, so that gives us a chance to see a little bit of uh, Louisiana on that side and then come across and see Natchez and um, anything else within a day trip of there um, for a day or so. And then we'll just put it in. We're just going to add it to our trip. And there we go. You know, we're starting off on 422, which is today. Okay. And we're headed down to Vidalia. We're going to stay three nights. And it's saying, and I have it, you can go in and edit the cost and all that stuff. And I hadn't put any of that in there because uh, one of the things is when you click on that campground, you can go click on park details. And that park details will give you a chance to go to their website. And you can make reservations on the website maybe or make a call. Uh, and so, and, and reserve there. And then it'll, you, you can figure out what the prices are. And it also tells you that this happens to be a Passport America park. Oh, it's so if you're a member, oh, if cool. you're a member of that, you you, you can get that discount. Cool. And so that's pretty cool. And um, um, what's that? Does it tell you how far it is? Like yeah, it tells you like from from our our location uh, where I'm currently sitting at, um, it's 393 miles. Okay. And that's obviously further than we want to um, travel in a day. Okay. Uh, we we like to keep it. Well, we've done that. Uh, but we like to keep it uh, somewhere around 300 so we can look for a place in between. I happen to know that uh, there are some Corps of Engineering parks okay. down in Grenada, Mississippi, which is about a couple hundred miles away, which would make it about halfway or maybe it may be a little more than 200, maybe or a little, a little more, a little less. So what we could do there, so you basically just put in, I'm going to put in Grenada, Mississippi. I know there's some things out here, and I know this lake out to the, I think it's out to the, um, east of uh, Grenada, there's some Corps of Engineering parks on and, and because I'm old, um, we have a, um, I think it's called America the Beautiful Senior Pass. Yes. And uh, you get like half price at Corps of Engineering. And so here, this North Gray Sport Campground in Grenada, Mississippi, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click that and add to the trip. And it gives me the option, and let's just say we're gonna stay two nights there. And it gives me the option to say, add this after last stop, or I can add it after my starting point. And so I'm gonna add it after the starting point and put it in between those two. So when I add it to the trip, it now goes, you know, current location, uh, Grenada, Mississippi, and Vidalia. So oh, cool. we got those three things in order. And then from there, we're gonna, um, you know, see some things around and we wanna go on over. Uh, after that, we wanna go on over to Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Uh, actually, Paul B. Johnson State Park, we happen to, you know, we're going to have a reunion there. And so we know that in Hasbro, we're going to meet uh, up with a couple of people. And so we're just going to add that and stay about three nights there. So how far is Hattiesburg. that from Natchez? Um, well, let's add it to the trip. And it, oh, tells, tell me, okay, cool. it tells me on the screen. So, um, so thanks for reminding me of that. Um, if you look on the screen here, you can see that uh, from our current location, which, by the way, is not our current location. Um, it, it's in the same town. Um, but um, there's North Graysport Campground, 173 miles away, just outside of Grenada. And then 233 miles from there is the Riverview RV Park in Vidalia, Louisiana, which is across the river from okay. Natchez. And then Hattiesburg is about 165 miles away. Okay. Uh, and so uh, that's the Paul B. Johnson State Park, just south of uh, Hattiesburg. And we're going to meet up uh, with some some family there, a family reunion. So we want to be there by a certain date. And it's got on here um, April 27th, but you know, we'll, we'll, we'll fix the dates later. That doesn't really matter now. And then uh, what we thought we would do is we'd kind of make a beeline across the country to go spend some time with our daughter. I think we should go through though the Gulf Coast oh, of okay. Florida. So you, you want to spend some time in Florida. So we'll, let's just go to the Panhandle and then go up like maybe through So Savannah. maybe like Destin? Destin sounds good, and then Savannah. Panama City, Destin, somewhere okay, in that yeah. area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if we want to put Destin, Florida in here, so I just type in Destin, Florida, D-E-S-T, I don't know how to spell Destin, Destin, Florida, and click Destin, Florida there, and you can see um, more details about that. Oops. More details about Destin, and you can go start looking for stops. I'm not going to put a 
a specific campground in here yet. Um, there's campgrounds where you can click on, then you got to go see if there's availability and make reservations and so forth. I'm just not going to do that now. I'm just going to go ahead and, 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 and save that uh, to our site. Let's just say we're going to save three nights in Destin. We're going to put that after the last stop, and we'll just save that as custom. That's only 208 miles away from Poby Johnson State Park. So that's a good, that's a, that's a actually, good day that's trip. A good, yeah. And then uh, we'll go on over through, where do you want to go from there? I want to go, can we make it to Savannah or Turkle uh, Island? Let's, or let's, tr let's try Savannah. Okay. Let's uh, put in Savannah. That's in Georgia, right? Yeah. Or we could stop by and see my sister or something like that. Uh, but uh, we won't. We'll just put uh, Savannah, Georgia. That's a long way, 462 miles. Oh, yeah, so um, we have to stop somewhere. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in. Uh, I'm going to add it to the trip. We're going to say three nights in Savannah. And we're going to add that after the last stop. So um, you can see uh, there we are in Savannah. Uh, for some reason, Destin got added down at the uh, end. So um, we can simply drag and drop, I believe. Uh, I just take that down here to, to six. Actually, this right here and it'll just switch them for us. So there you go. So we're gonna just, um, that's a long trip, 430 miles. Now yeah. we could do it. We're not gonna. Uh, we've done it, we don't wanna. We only did it because it was an emergency. Uh, kind of an emergency, we were trying to get back home. Um, and so we did about 500 something miles one day. Oh, that was long. Day. And it was a long day, but uh, you know, it's possible to do it. Thank so for we're gonna um, just put in Valdosta and see how far that is. My sister lives in Valdosta. So we can stop by and, and you know have some lunch, dinner, lunch, whatever. Maybe spend a night there uh, in um, in Valdosta. And you can see um, it went. I didn't uh, click at the right place. Oh, that's much much better. 239 miles to oh. to Valdosta, oh. and then 192 on to Savannah. Perfect. So pretty good. So if I want to go back and edit the details of Valdosta, I'll just put that we're going to stay there a couple of nights. And you can see a bunch of stuff on here. I could put you know. Um, stuff like camping costs, meal costs, things like that in here. I won't do that at this point, but it's a way to kind of see what your trip costs. Uh, I've got 350 for gas in here right now. So all these miles, nine miles a gallon, 350. Mm, nine so you can see um, so far, um, it's got a pretty good cost in here. So uh, wow. and these costs are out here and that's all, that's all fuel at this point. Like it's about, you know, 70 to a hundred dollars a day just for fuel. Wow. Uh, and we're only going a couple hundred miles. So so you need need to get better mileage or better prices. So 350 is the price now. Hopefully it didn't go up past that. Last year, it was a little past that, I think. But, like, when we traveled at spring break, hotels were, like, double what they yeah, had Yeah, you know, so $200 was typical for a hotel room that we For not at. even a great hotel. Yeah. Um, so if you do that, so you get too, better gas mileage, but you're paying more for. And, then, and the campgrounds we're staying at, you know, some of them are as much as fifty, but some of them are as little as twenty. Yeah. So, and know, I love probably, having my own stuff. Yeah, we got our own bed, our own pillows. Um, so we can cook. We don't have to eat yeah, out. Yeah, we don't have to eat out as much. Uh, we're still gonna eat out some probably, but uh, yeah. as a as a treat, it's kind of you know like when you see a place like Natchez, you know, you got to find a place to eat there. Oh, definitely. Yes. See a place like Savannah, you got to find a place to eat. But last year um, we didn't eat out hardly at all. It was really weird. Not a lot. Not a lot. We didn't. So we brought a lot um, of stuff with us. But even when we were in like the Mammoth Cave area, we went to out to we dinner did. there once we did and that. so forth. So anyway, so from Savannah, we're probably gonna head on up to. Well, we're gonna head towards the Raleigh, North Carolina area. Okay, so let's area. go ahead and put. Um, we Myrtle know. Beach. Let's go to Myrtle Beach. <laughs> or Hilton Head. Okay. Well, uh, Hilton Head's or... really close. Let's oh, just go yeah. to Myrtle here. Let's go to Myrtle. Um, okay. So we're going to go ahead and add in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, M Y R T. -L -E. We went to Charleston already. I mean, I'd love to go again. Not that we wouldn't go again. No, I'd love to um, go again. That'd be awesome. So I'm just going to put Myrtle Beach in there, and I'm just going to put more details. Mm -hmm. Now, so you can go back to all these and search for points of interest, search for mm -hmm. campgrounds, uh, and it gives you that. It tells you like KOAs or CO uh, Corps of Engineer, whatever. And you, know, you can search for all those things, and you can have those things come up in your. Um, your settings. I'm not going to go through all that with you. Uh, there's a lot of good videos on um, on YouTube about it. A lot of good videos actually on RV Trip Planner. planner. Okay. So let's just say I don't know four nights in Myrtle Beach. Uh, so how far is it? Oh, do we know yet? Well, we haven't I haven't got there yet. Uh, I, I need, I'm adding good. it after the last stop. So so I'm going to save it as a custom stop. And it says there's 148 miles. That's pretty so good. So not bad okay. from Savannah. 
Savannah to Myrtle Beach, and then Myrtle Beach, we're probably just going to go on into to Raleigh. Uh, near Raleigh. We know that we stay in, uh, we like to stay in this place in Selma, North Carolina. We stayed there last year. It's called North Point Campground. So I'm just going to actually put that campground in North Point uh, RV Resort in Selma, North Carolina. I'm just going to add it to trip, and we're going to say five days. That way we get to see our grandson maybe pick him up from daycare or keep him at home one day or something. It depends on uh, what we're allowed to do because, you know, we're uh, we're always on probation. Yes, we are. So anyway, that that's the next stop on our trip. So um, sometimes um, it kind of goes in in the wrong order. And again, you can just re-drag them into the right order. Uh, Savannah, the Savannah, going to Savannah is 192. It's 148 to Myrtle Beach, 164 on into uh, Selma, North Carolina, which is about 30 miles or 20 something miles away from our uh, daughter's family. And we'll spend some, I've got five days in there. And then what we'll probably do from there is we talked about stopping in Mount Airy. Yes, we sure did. Cause which is Mayberry, North Carolina. Andy uh, Griffith Show. They have an Andy Griffith Museum because I've been Does anybody know before. how to spell Mount Airy? A I R Y? A I. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's A I R Y. And I'm just, there's a there's a Passport America campground there too. We'd pick it probably, uh, but I'm not going to. No, gonna there's look. a Mayberry campground. Where yeah, and it happens to be a Passport America. Oh, it's called okay. the Mayberry cool. campground. Cool. And uh, has to be, happens to be um, um, happens to be a Passport America campground. Okay. So anyway, there we are in Mount Airy. And then probably, um, you know, I got two nights there and then we'll probably make kind of a, you know, a head for home from there. So I'm just going to, there is a way to put round trip options in here. Um, so, um, we usually go across Tennessee. Well, so there, there's a little, um, button I just clicked, um, make it, you can, you can retrace your steps is one of the buttons or you can make a direct line back to home from there. Oh, really? Well, and so what really it does, cool. is it makes Can a direct line back to home. Huh? Can you show me that? Uh, I'll show it to you in a minute. Okay, uh, cool. You'll see it on the, uh, we'll put some of the screen recording up there so you can see that. Okay. Um, it's 691 miles uh, okay. from Mount Airy to um, Jonesboro, Arkansas, which is where we live. Um, we probably won't do 691 miles in a day. I don't think so. So what I got to do now is kind of look for something along the way. So I'm just going to, I know that Nashville, you know, is about 280 miles away. Mm -hmm. So that'd be a 400 mile day. So that's probably a little far. That's a lot. Uh, so we're just going to stick Knoxville in there. Um, Knoxville, Tennessee. Knoxville, Tennessee. Gatlinburg. Uh, and it could be Gatlinburg. It could be somewhere in there. But we'll just put Knoxville as a general area. And this to select that rather than looking for a specific campground at this point. We already showed you how to do that. Um, we'll just... You know, let's just say we're going to stay one night in, in um, let's just say two nights in okay. Knoxville area. We could be, we could maybe go to Pigeon Forge or something. Well, we've already been to Pigeon Forge. Well, we've we been a bunch, but we're right there. So, yeah. or Gatlinburg or whatever. Yeah. Uh, any of that area right there. So, let's just put three nights just for fun, uh, since we're kind of living this dream here. Um, and uh, and so that, that says... Um, And, and when I reorder it there, it says 230 miles is pretty good, but still 461 miles from there so we um, use, to Jonesboro. We stop so we'll probably stop somewhere around Nashville. Okay. Um, so we'll just put in, uh, we, we've stayed once at least in Lebanon, Tennessee mm -hmm. at, at a KOA there. Uh, and there it is. It just popped up when I put it in there. So we're just going to put that add to the trip and we're going to put that after the Knoxville, Tennessee stop. Okay. And so I'm going to add the trip. I wish we were leaving tomorrow. Um, why don't we just do that? Okay. Uh, let's just go now. Sounds good. Uh, we'll get the dates right. We'll go now. And, oh, yeah, uh, but our truck's in the shop. Yeah. Dang well, wait, it! I guess we'll have to go steal a truck today. No, we can't do that. Uh, probably not. Probably not. Life of crime, probably not good at this point. No, 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 no. So, I don't know if that's the perfect. It, Nashville's 157 miles from Knoxville, uh, but a little bit further from, from like, Gatlinburg, if we go to Gatlinburg instead. Uh, and then it's still 300 miles home. Mm, not, not awful. Yeah, um, for but, the last day. You know, yeah. we could um, we could add another stop there. 
Uh, we put some like Jackson, Tennessee in there or something like that, but I think this will do. Okay. Uh, so you can kind of see here, you can kind you can kind of see here uh, that um, our total trip here um, is, you can see every day is broken up, you know, so if you look at this, uh, it's like, I don't know, 30 days here, I wow, think. Wow, And uh, just for fuel, uh, it's, and the total miles is 2,395 miles. Okay. It's actually 31 nights, it tells you down here at the bottom. Oh, cool. And then it's uh, $932 in fuel. There's this button up here called Show Entire Trip. I just clicked on Show Entire Trip. And so now you can kind of see uh, from start all the way down and around. We've got a nice circular route here. Um, and you can see there's a, all these little tent looking things. Those are campgrounds along the way. So if we wanted to go and start looking for campgrounds, we could kind of zoom in here. We, there's a little zoom button or you can pull your fingers and you can see a bunch of, and they also you can see these little yellow things. Those are low clearance marks huh. uh, on oh, this map. Oh, cool! So and then you can see go. all these little campgrounds on here as well that you could go check out, maybe get some pricing, and then you could go add that campground. You could take the city out and add the campground. So rather than going to Destin, Florida, we're going to go to this campground in that oh, area. Okay, so this um, is just like a overview. Then you can yeah, go to, you can go back and do the later. detail. So you kind of what you can do is go out. So we already kind of knew someplace we want to stay, so I put those in there for you. But what you can do is just go, hey, I want to go to Yellowstone. And then go pick pick things along the way oh, uh, cool. to Yellowstone. And then you can go direct route back home. And then go back and pick some campgrounds along the way on the way back home. Or you can say, hey, I want to go to the Grand Canyon and Yellowstone and Mount Rushmore in that order. And then pick some stuff along the way to visit is, along the way. Is this so, locked in? Because I'm looking at the map. seems like we could go up to Virginia, to West Virginia, Ohio. Well, nothing's locked in. Because Indiana, you can, Illinois, then down through Missouri to home. Absolutely. Nothing's locked in. You can always go back and, and uh, you know, rather than going to Knoxville, we could go to, you know, yeah. up into West Virginia yeah. and across. So um, instead of three states, we could get one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, seven new states. We could get West Virginia. We could get... Um, Indiana, Ohio, Ohio, Illinois, Illinois yeah. uh, and then you know go up, go up to Iowa for that matter, and down through oh, Missouri, yeah. you know, we so up to Iowa too. Uh, or up into Michigan and down. Ooh, so boy. we yeah. go over the to the Upper Peninsula. So there's all oh, kinds yeah. of things that you can do on here. I just think it's a really good option. Uh, it is forty something dollars. Uh, we'll put links to it uh, and thing. We we're not like affiliates in any way. I think they may give us a link or something so you could get a discount. So. Um, you know, I'll look into, uh, you know, whether we have that link or not, but anyway, um, thanks for coming along, yeah. uh, on our trip planning. We've, uh, this is kind of what we plan to do something in this neighborhood. Right. Uh, we've, we already have some reservations at a couple of those. Uh, and then, uh, on the way back, we're kind of wide open, uh, hopefully if we have time. And, uh, so anyway, uh, and that'll be something we do this summer, not in April. Uh, yeah. so anyway. Yeah. Again, thanks for coming along. We hope you'll like and subscribe to our videos. Hopefully this is helpful to some of you that are doing some planning. Last year we used RV Parky. Really good. Totally free. Uh, this is a, has a little cost to it. I think there's some, um, it's kind of like leveling up your travel a little bit. It's just, okay. a, it may be just a little bit better. Uh, okay. It also has stuff in here like, I think it's got, you know, stuff like Walmarts and Cracker Barrels and stuff like that as well. Oh, awesome. Certainly RV Parky has that if you need to go back to that to, to do that. Um, but Anyway, lots of campgrounds, lots of campground reviews in here, all kinds of great stuff. So thanks for watching.